lovelies, welcome to another video. I feel like I am swollen. Oh God, help me. I, yeah, mm-hmm. So, I am 39 weeks pregnant and I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm over it. I'm so over it. Getting into the video. I had a midwife appointment, my symptoms, my contractions, life in general at this stage of pregnancy. Let's, let's just get into them one by one, shall we? So, number one, midwife appointment. I had a midwife appointment on Saturday at 38 weeks and five days, five days. I have lost track of everything. So at the midwife's appointment, we discussed things such as my contractions, how they were progressing, the fact that they can get so painful that I can't sleep at night, but we will get into contraction details later on in the video. As far as the appointment was concerned, everything seems fine except for the fact that baby girl is still in a posterior position. We did discuss various ways to kind of move her, help her get into a proper position because apparently um, the way my contractions are going, I am in early labor still, but her position has a tendency of causing early labor to kind of start, stop, start, stop. So that's not helpful and I don't know how much more of it I can take. <laughs> so I am currently spending a lot of time on my gym ball, like you know those big bouncy balls that you sit on. Oh my gosh, I'm breathless. <laughs> Um, that is my number one thing that I have been doing for the past two days, as well as just generally sitting up rather than leaning back, which is not the best thing for my back, not the best, but if it makes a baby girl move around and get into position and let's go into full on labor, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So <laughs> everything else looked fine. I am working on moving baby girl into position. Contractions indicate that I am in early labor, so things are happening, but at the same time, they're kind of just putting themselves on pause, apparently. It's sentimental. Another fun fact was that the muscle separation has now reached a point where my uterus is actually kind of like protruding at, like, at points. If I sit in a specific way for too long, yeah, it's not fun. I'm not going to go into too many details right now because I know that a lot of you might not want to hear it, but the muscle separation is not fun. It is not fun at all. Just not. But yeah, so I'm currently, my next medical appointment is actually pretty much after my due date. So I don't know what we're doing. I'm, I'm just waiting for this baby to come out. Like, I also had my strep B swab done. Uh, this, you actually do this at 36 weeks, but for whatever reason, the midwife didn't mention it at the time, so I did it this time around. Can I just say I don't like it? Can I just put that out there? <laughs> did the swab though, because honestly, I'd rather have it done, know the result, and in case I need antibiotics, I'm good to go because I don't need an extra risk factor on baby girl's breath. Now, when we get to symptoms and contractions, so I'm going to go really quickly over my other, like, symptoms that are generally affecting me and then I'm going to go into the contractions and belly and just all the fun stuff that's been happening. <laughs> so symptom wise I still get heartburn randomly even like it doesn't matter if I eat something or don't eat something I'll just get heartburn randomly. Uh, <laughs> breathlessness as you can tell I'm constantly breathless. I cannot move from one room to the other without just I can't even speak without basically dying. <laughs> so, moving on to more like what my body is going through right now because baby girl is getting heavier and everything is just, the skin on my belly has stretched beyond what I thought was humanely possible. <laughs> it is just unbelievable. I do not know where it's gonna go if baby girl decides to arrive like in a week and not like today. <laughs> so, I had no idea. It is stretched beyond imagination. It's constantly like burning and just hurting. Uh, very tender to the touch. I cannot touch my belly anymore. It just hurts. Uh, my lower pelvis, uh, my pelvic bone, pubic bone, uh, call it what you will, my lower abdomen, hips, everything hurts. <laughs> the strain on my back, like everything down low below my belly basically just hurts. <laughs> And then along with that, 
<laughs> meaning which actually means I can't walk so I basically kind of shuffle along now like I'm not even at that penguin waddling kind of phase anymore I literally have to like kind of shuffle along tiny steps it ain't pretty the contractions <sighs> contractions contractions so I get a ton of Braxton Hicks a ton of Braxton Hicks and I know they're Braxton Hicks because the only thing they do is tighten my upper abdominal muscles and that's about it. <laughs> and then I have the real contractions, which real contractions actually cause pain and actually kind of start up high, roll downwards, ramp up, hold on to you like nothing else and then wrap around to your back. So those are not fun, <laughs> can I just say that, put that out there. They have been getting more and more painful, they have been getting more and more intense, and they've kind of been coming closer and closer, but again, stopping. So I might get several within an hour, and then they'll just stop. I might have like <laughs> constant contractions every 20 minutes, but they don't get closer together. I... I can spend all night long not sleeping because of the pain, uh, feeling like I'm getting my period, feeling period cramps, having the contraction come in strong, then relax and just leave that kind of crampy feeling and vice versa. It just never ends, basically. <laughs> it is, um, I have to say it's exhausting. It's exhausting both physically and mentally because honestly, I am done. I am so tired of just not being able to sleep. I'm constantly getting up to pee because the pressure is unbelievable. Baby girl is super, super low, as she was for the past, like, I don't even know how long, but the heavier she gets, the more pressure I feel. This pressure actually does cover my entire pelvic floor, so in very, very simple terms, it feels like someone is pushing up right behind my bum and my the JJ. <laughs> basically. So I have a ton of pressure pretty much everywhere down below and the contractions just keep coming and her movements. Oh my gosh, it's just everything has reached a point where my body is exhausted and hurts and I feel like my body is ready to go into labor and give birth and just do it and then there's something holding it back. And I will admit that in the previous weeks, I was a little bit scared and I don't know if that would have played a part because I know that it's going to hurt <laughs> and I know that it's not going to be fun but you know it's just kind of crazy how our mind just plays tricks on us and you reach that point where you're like I just want to get this baby out I don't care and I'm at that point right now and I'm so tired already and I just need this to like get on the road and let's let's do this and I will say with all of that considering the contractions that are coming and going and not really getting anywhere that this could last a while we had I had said that back at I think 36 36 weeks I don't remember when that was um and it has it has been going on uh for a while now I don't want to get an induction under no circumstances I don't think an induction is what I need or what I want um, definitely not an option for me. I am reaching the point where I can understand why a woman would actually want to get an induction because it just, it gets so much. It's, it's even mentally, it's just so frustrating. But yeah, I'm okay. Baby girl's doing great. We're both doing great other than the fact that I can't sit, I can't stand, I can't sleep. Everything hurts and I'm ready to have a baby. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> other than that guys, I just wanted to really update you guys on the fact that I am still getting contractions. They're progressing, they're getting stronger as time goes by, but not within like a time to actually get labor actively started. But yeah, <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next video, which hopefully will be a birth announcement. Hopefully, because if I have to do a 40 week update, oh lord, oh lord.